Destined to Shine was born in Ireland in May 2012. We bought him as a three-year-old at the Tattersalls Derby sale, one of the best um, store sales in Ireland. Every thoroughbred racehorse has its own passport. It has a chip, a microchip in its neck. And they have their own microchip number. They have their own unique passport number. At birth, they're identified by their markings that are contained inside the passport. And within that, all its um, vaccinations are documented as well as any foreign travel. This is a passport for Destined to Shine and it states that he was born on the 2nd of May 2012. His sire is Dubai Destination. His dam and mother is called Goodshine, who herself was by a horse called Beneficial, and that he was bred by Michael Fennessy, who was based in Ireland. He first hit the race course in January 17 as a five-year-old. So from birth for five years later, he made it to the race course. It's quite a long process and a lengthy process breaking a horse in, which is the technical term for teaching it to be ridden. Destined, otherwise known as Doug the Thug, was named such because he was quite naughty when it came to breaking him in. What's Destined like at home then? Yeah, he's a bit of a legend, so he is. When he was younger, he was a bit of a handful, so sort of Doug the Thug comes from that. So has he, has he settled down with age at all or is he still? Oh yeah, definitely, yeah. He's sort of one of everyone's favourite rides. Very easy, very pleasant, amazing to work with. Every horse has its own individual personality, just the same as people do. He's a very happy horse, he wants to race, he enjoys his jumping, and yeah, he's a great chap to have about the place. All of the horses here have a great, fun time being in training. Every day is more or less the same. We normally tend to school them a couple of days before they run, so that'll probably give them a just of it sort of thing, but no, they're fit, they're ready, they know. And speaking of racing, uh, he's used to run soon. How do you think he's going to go? Yeah, he should go really well, yeah. He jumps amazing, he's fit, he's in good form, so yeah, he'll go really well. I've been in the gambling industry for well, since I was 18, so a fair number of years. Uh, a good friend of mine is Tom Lee, he introduced me to Kerry, and before you know it, I've got shares in three horses. And how's it been so far only, Destin? Good. Um, the only thing I haven't seen so far is it win. Every time he's won, I've been sat in the office, or sat on a train, so I'm hoping today is the first time I can actually see him win. And he's over fences, it's, it's quite new to him, but how, how's he done so far? Well, I've been told he's schooling well. There's no problems there. His first race, he, you know, his, his jumping wasn't the greatest. Last race wasn't too bad. Today should be all through. He's a good rider. He's, he's an exuberant horse. Um, he always likes to do everything 100 miles an hour. He's a bit, bit keen, but uh, hopefully the track will suit him today. The, the drying ground, left-handed, um, gets into a nice rhythm jumping. Hopefully he can run, run a nice race. He's, he's got an each way chance, you know, it's, it's a competitive race um, from top to bottom. There's all, all, all the horses got some sort of squeak, I, I, I can see, but um, like I say, he, he's, he's higher than what he's won off before, but when, when he's on song, he, he, he does always win well, you know, so hopefully he's in that sort of frame of mind today. Preparations ahead of Doncaster started, well, a long time ago, obviously, with the build up to the race, um, but the night before he would have a special wash, special race day bath and then he was fed at six o'clock this morning, had his breakfast early. He was loaded up and we started our travels to Doncaster at seven o'clock this morning. Arrived here, he's been plaited, he's been groomed, he's had extra special care and attention. We make sure he doesn't eat, that he doesn't drink anything two hours prior to the race. Well, I've always had a soft spot for Destin to shine and he's been quite a hard horse to train. We've had a few hiccups along the way, shall we say. It's a really hard one to call because obviously I really think this horse can do well and I really want him to do well, especially with you guys here filming today so there's extra bit of pressure with that um, really a little bit of nerves but this is my job and I have to get on with it come on Okay. 
kind of ran to two out, and it's just like he just felt like he's needed it a shade mm -hmm. after that, you know. Um, he's having a good blow, you know. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Okay. Like I say, usually with his finishing kick, I, 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 was, I thought he'd sustain his run, to, to mm -hmm. be honest with you, but um, he's done yeah. everything right, yeah, to, yeah. to be fair to the horse. There's a lot of um, positives to take from oh, that. Oh, 100%. Mm -hmm. It was a competitive race, you know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if there's a choice between two mile or two and a half, I'd, I'd go two mile with them the next day. Thank you very much. Today wasn't the win we were hoping for, but a very respectable fourth place. There's a lot of positives to take out of today. He's jumped very well. Um, he's enjoyed going left-handed. I think he's enjoyed the better ground. Um, next time we'll look to go maybe two miles rather than two and a half. Um, and, you know, maybe we might even come down in grade, I think, which will help too.